Fin Fin. Now this one was really recent. It was actually in the 1990s, if you've ever heard of this Fin Fin. So it was a, in the uh, weight loss industry, it's a $60 billion business today. $60 billion are spent on weight loss in America every year. It says, uh, basically Fin Fin, it's a Fin Fluoramine or Anaheftamine Fetamine, I can't say that. Then they were marketed as short-term diet ads, but proved largely ineffective on their own. In the 1970s, they basically took these two drugs and mixed them together. And they had a study of 121 patients, two thirds which were of women, and they lost an average of 30 pounds with seemingly no side effects. It says, they started marketing and it says six million Americans started using it. But in 1996, after a contentious debate, the FDI, FDA agreed to approve the drug pending a one year trial. Almost immediately, reports of gray side effects started pouring in. That in July, the Mayo Clinic said that 24 women taking FinFin had developed serious heart valve ab abnormalities. Now, what do we remember? What was the number one leading cause of death? Heart disease, wasn't it? People taking all these drugs, taking all these things, damaging their heart, doing all kinds of wicked things in their heart, and they're like, oh, heart disease. Yeah, uh, because you're just destroying it with drugs constantly. It says 100 more cases were reported by September 1997. The FDA officially pulled FinFin in 1999. The American Home Products Corporation agreed to pay a $3.75 billion settlement to those injured by taking the drug. And there was more than 50,000 liability lawsuits. So now when these pharmaceutical companies, they get caught as being a fraud, it is a big penalty. $3.75 billion. And you know what, these companies, they don't have that like sitting in the bank. They've already spent all that money. They already have given all their money to the, you know, their CEOs riding on their yachts and doing whatever. Look, they don't have this type of money to give away. So there's a big incentive when pharma pushes some product that's a fraud to cover it up, to make sure that it doesn't get publicly you know, announced so then people can constantly sue them and get all this money and you know, get all this retribution for their actions. You say, what was FinFin? Fin? Well, basically what it would do is it would destroy the sensors in your body that caused you to be hungry. You basically just had no desire to eat. But the problem is, is it would rapidly, you know, produce your heart rate. I mean, your heart rate would just be pounding and pounding. Look, your body can't sustain your heart just pounding and pounding constantly. And it would cause all these problems in people. It was destroying parts of their brain. I mean, it said in, they knew in apes that this fenthic drug was causing all kinds of abnormalities in the brain. It even made certain animals not be able to sleep ever again never sleep again. They gave this drug to chickens. The chickens died while never sleeping again because it just, it just puts your body on hyperactive and you're just like, yeah, yeah, I'm so excited. So yeah, they just lost all this weight real quick, but what are they doing to their body? Look, and that's what these drugs are doing. They're trying to play God. They're trying to cause all these fake, you know, responses in your body that God did not produce. And they're trying to do all kinds of damage to your body because they don't even know what they're doing. They just try it on people. They just try it on animals and see all the animals die. And they're like, well, maybe humans can withstand a little bit stronger. You know, let's just try it on these women. Oh, they lost some weight. No side effects. Look, you don't know what kind of long term side effects happen to any drug. You need to be careful of any drug that you inject in your body, anything that you're doing to yourself.